a bit to learn about this 40. channel so I've been doing so much work on the body you've seen all that I wanted a bit of a break a bit of a change I wanted to do something a little bit different so there's plenty of stuff to do so I decided I'd start with the wiper motor I knew that the wiper motor needed a bit of attention the wiring loom as I was going through that I found that that was all cruddy broken wires broken plugs so we basically made a new wiring loom from the existing wiring loom for the wiper motor stripped the wiper motor completely down and rebuilt the wiper motor back up gave it a test we finally got there and it worked out perfect so i'll show you what i've done all right so we're going to inspect to make sure that these are okay they're pretty good we're going to clean all of this crappy grease off uh, clean up this little gasket as well and um, just check the, the gears, the worm drive and the, uh, the gear there, make sure everything's okay. Let's clean up all this old grease and we'll pack it with some new grease. Now I've cleaned all this up, it's come up quite nice. Just run over these with a little bit of emery paper. Now we'll remove the motor, which will bring out the worm drive, the whole lot. So we've got two Phillips head screws. When we remove this, it's gonna pull the entire worm drive out. We need to be really careful because just inside here there's a very small little ball bearing and there's also a ball bearing on the inside of this so we don't want to lose them so just carefully we can actually turn the the motor arm on the back as we try to pull it out okay here is all right, so there's that little ball bearing I was talking about. We don't want to lose that. Set that there. Just pull out the comb. And on the end of this is another little ball bearing. There it is. So don't lose them. We'll be in a bit of trouble. Clean up all the uh, the com, make sure it's all okay. There's some uh, fingerprints there from when it was first manufactured. So a little bit of emery paper. We'll make this nice and clean. This is where the brushes will run on. We'll have a look at the brushes in a second. All right, so that's pretty clean now. So next thing we want to do is just get a, a razor blade and we're just gonna run in between those gaps there just cleaning up all the carbon build up inside of the end of the com there. Commutator. Some contact cleaner. Alright, so we'll just let that uh, air dry now. Let's clean that worm drive off a bit. Clean all the grease off it. Alright, it's inside here. We've got our brushes. This brush here is actually a bit stuck. Got little springs behind them. Just give those slip rings a clean. These all look okay, no broken solders, all the wires aren't touching, 
brushes I think will be okay. Just gonna put a little bit of grease on the back end here. Regrease, regrease up the worm drive. A little ball bearing. That'll sit in there nice, nicely with that grease. That'll hold it in place. Now it's got a pretty strong magnet in here. Fight the magnet. Center it in place. Run that around a bit, get that grease worked in there. Make sure it's sitting in nicely. Now we want to get this bearing, you get a uh, screwdriver that's a bit magnetic, that always helps a lot. Okay, so there's that, that's a broken wire we need to fix up. That bearing's in place. Right now that we've cleaned, cleaned all this out, this is all cleaned, we've cleaned up the com. We need to slide this all back in place. But the problem we're going to come across is that these little brushes on the springs are going to stop us sliding in. So what we're going to do some of our 0.6 MIG wire. Just going to cut some pieces off and bend over a little hook, just like that. And what we can do, can pull that brush back. Put that little bit of wire in there and that's going to hold that brush back just out of the way enough for me to get the common everything back in. So we'll do that three more times. Right now, so as you can see, all the brushes are held back. They're spring loaded. Now we want to, while they're held back, carefully line up the housing. And now we've got it in that spot, a bit of a gap. Just carefully work these little wires out. This one here is going to be the trickiest. No, it's not. Push that all back in. That made it so much easier. Well, I've just got some uh, fresh grease on my screwdriver there. I'm just going to pack that right over that worm drive there. Push it right in. I'd already cleaned this gasket up. Dad? Yo! Hi! Righto, so one of these wires have been broken off, so that wire we just need to re-solder this wire onto this terminal. Righto, so we're able to re-solder that wire back on. So that uh, attaches to the slip rings inside. Now we need to fix all this wiring up here. Some broken wires and uh, some added extra pieces. So we'll cut them off and fix all this wiring up and be good as new. Rip this old plug off and put the new plugs on. Pull that old sleeve protective layer off. I'm actually going to make a new one out of this thermal guard. Righto, so put these little clips on. Just mount it so that the insulated wire just comes to the end of here. We use our crimpers, crimp it down, and you can see it's held on at the back. Do the same with a big one. Right, so we're going to slide this insulator Now all we need to do is using this as a guide, put 
put the exact same colors in the exact same position. So we have a... Just push it through until you feel a little click. Then continue on with the rest of the wires. Right now, so we're nearly finished our full restoration on our wiper motor. So a huge thank you to Jared and Richard. They helped me hugely with that, especially the wiring loom. So the wiring looms um, all been fixed up, taped up, and uh, fantastic now. So thanks, boys. Appreciate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug it up. We're going to test it. So we've just got our battery here. I've got the earth hooked up already. We need to put an earth lead to the body of the wiper, the same as if it's connected to the uh, FJ40 or the 40 series. And that actually resets the park position of the wipers. So instead of stopping halfway up here, it actually comes back and stops in its correct position. I've got it all hooked up to the battery. Put our positive on here. So let's give it a test. Right, uh, so now that. when I hit this, we should stop in a park position. It'll go for a second after I push the off button. There you go. So as you can see, we stopped it and it continued to go around. Right, right so that's our wiper motor completed. It's restored. The wiring loom's done, thanks to the uh, Richie and Jared. We stripped down the entire wiper motor, gave it a bit of a grease up. We cleaned up the com, checked all the brushes, cleaned all the internal stuff. When we actually first got it going, it was clicking and clunking and making some terrible noises. We couldn't get the park position to work. Uh, we ended up, which I didn't film, we ended up opening up this switch, which is a very simple switch. Cleaned all the terminals inside of that. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to making sure that all your terminals are clean. A little bit of emery paper and uh, some contact cleaner, and it'll come up like new. And I think we might um, move on to something else. Thanks. <laughs>